We've been getting it all wrong. Nice guys actually finish first, because evolution and stuff. Hey friends, Lacey Green here, and you're watching D News. If you're a selfish douchebag, you better watch out. Evolution's gonna get you. A while back, there was a very famous study called The Prisoner's Dilemma, which was thought to provide proof that humans evolved to be selfish. In this study, two prisoners were offered freedom if one secretly ratted the other out. But if both of them snitched, their sentence got longer. And if both of them stayed quiet, their sentence shortened. And what happened? Ugh, the selfish players ultimately beat out the team players. Womp womp. This was said to demonstrate the strength of the zero dominant strategy, or the strategy where organisms only look out for themselves. Scientists were like, hey, maybe selfishness aided our survival and got us to where we are today. Kinda depressing, but hey, now there's more to the story. Researchers at Michigan State University found that while they might seem to be getting screwed in the short term, nice organisms actually won out in the long term. They conducted the experiment using high-powered computing to run thousands of games where organisms use zero-dominant strategies to duke it out. So they found that over time, the zero-dominant strategists did not survive. They did have advantages temporarily, but they only continued to win if they knew who their opponent was and could adapt their strategies accordingly, including being cooperative sometimes. When the zero-dominant organisms did win, they were eventually forced to become cooperative or else they'd all die. Too long didn't read version is we probably didn't evolve to be selfish creatures, otherwise we'd be extinct right now. And that ain't cute. Maybe, just maybe, we actually need each other to survive. Amidst the seemingly endless, depressing show that is the human race, we do still see lots of altruism in human behavior. In natural disasters, we always see people helping one another out, taking care of each other, putting each other first, even if it comes at a personal sacrifice. We also see natural altruism in kids. A study in PLOS One found that three to five year olds rewarded a partner who worked hard on a task, even if it meant taking home less of the reward themselves. And at as young as 18 months, toddlers of their own accord try to help adults who appear to be struggling with the task. I can see how selfishness could be a survival strategy, but still one need only take a look around and see how vast the human empire has become because we built it together. That human empire ultimately reflects a great dependence on each other to get our basic needs met. It's hardwired into our very stressed systems. We can't survive in solitary confinement and the touch and presence of others takes their brain out of panic mode. <sighs> I do love you humans, even though you really piss me off sometimes. All right, Denewsies, are you a selfish human or are you altruistic? Let me know on Twitter, at Denews, and I'll return very soon, because we're here every day, twice a day.